So visibility can feel scary. It's like standing in the spotlight, exposed and vulnerable. Not pleasant. But if you want to be found, and if you want to make an impact, and if you want to build what we call a purpose-driven brand, visibility truly is a non-negotiable. Now today, in 10 Minutes on Purpose, I want to talk about why embracing your vulnerability is essential if you're serious about connecting with your market, connecting with your people and with your audience. So we've all felt it, the fear of putting ourselves out there. What if no one responds? What if they judge me? Which some people will, of course. These are common fears, especially for creators, business owners, those working in the field such as myself, like coaching or photography. When you're a company of one, this is something that we have to face every day. So in my journey as both a people photographer and a coach, I've learned that vulnerability is a superpower. That might sound a bit weird, but whether I'm working with a photography client or a coaching client, trust truly is the bedrock of everything. And for that trust to manifest, my clients have had to see me as it were. They've had to see my work published online, which of course is an extension of me. Whether that's on my website or whether it's on social media, like they've had to have seen what I've done, or they've had to have heard me speak about my specialist subject in order to make the decision to reach out whether they want to work with me or not, or whether they want to have even just like a 30 minute introductory call. And contrary to what we might believe, it's not about showing perfection, but it's about sharing openly from a place of relatability. So don't get me wrong, you don't have to reveal everything all at once, you can start small. And in my photography and coaching practice, I didn't start by sharing every single detail of my hero's journey story. God, no one's interested in that. I started by putting out small pieces of content, sharing my point of view, showing photographs of recent shoes, aspects of me at work, planting seeds in people's awareness. That's probably the most important thing. Every time you share something from a place of vulnerability or from a place of here's my work, here's what I do. It plants seeds in people's awareness. If that's something that they really are interested in, if that's something that they wish to pursue for themselves, they'll remember you. So those small steps build momentum. And over the years, my photography clients have reached out to me to get some photos because they've seen the work that I've done. I've had to share it on my social media regularly and on my website in order for them to discover me. So the same goes for my coaching clients, whether they've heard me speak, or they've come through a referral, or they've heard me on a podcast, they've trusted me enough to reach out and book a 30 minute conversation with me to share their challenges, and to talk about the matters which are of importance to them. That trust can only form when we give them something to see and something to witness about us, and our standpoint and what we take a stand for. So people start to feel like they know us even before they've actually met us. I've heard people say, when I read that copy on your website, or when I saw that photograph, I could see me there, it felt like me. I feel as if I know you. So that sense of familiarity leads to deeper connection. And that's where the magic happens. From unexpected collaborations to powerful coaching sessions, it all begins with that simple act of being visible in some way, in front of the right people, and at the right time, even when and actually particularly when it feels vulnerable. Because that vulnerability means you're showing up in a place that matters, and you're talking about something or you're sharing some work that really matters. And you're not hiding in the shadows in the hope that you'll be discovered one day. So you don't have to reveal everything all at once, start small. I started by putting out small pieces of content sharing my point of view, showing my photographs of recent shoots, aspects of my work, behind the scenes, planting seeds. And whether you're creating content for your audience or working one to one with clients, it's so easy I found to get caught up in trying to act in a certain way, or to appear to be professional. But I found that the most compelling and meaningful moments happen when I focus on speaking my truth from a place of intuition and a place of vulnerability, particularly when it feels vulnerable, actually. The most impactful coaching sessions and the most powerful portraits happen when both me and my client feel seen, safe, relaxed, 
and genuine together. And this is going to sound cheesy, but it's the same with visibility. Focus on connecting, not on perfecting. Oh God, did I say that? This is, <laughs> this is where your why becomes so essential as a motivator for that thing that pushes you through. And I think I've mentioned this in every video up until this point, but it's so true. Being seen is difficult. It's a struggle. It's a wall to leap over. But knowing your why helps you leap over that wall. So whether you're a photographer, a coach, an artist, or a creator, your why gives you the resolve to embrace vulnerability and show up consistently for the people that you serve. I remember once procrastinating, just once, no, many times, <laughs> over sharing some photographs on social media of um, some of the recent photo shoots I've been doing for people. And I remember I was sitting there and I was silently having this conversation with my inner critic. I was reasoning with my inner critic and saying, you know, I think I should share these photographs. I think they look good. And the inner critic's a bit like, well, you know, they're not bad. They could be better. Uh, maybe you should hang on. Maybe you need to just improve the lighting a little bit in your next shoot and then share those photographs. You don't need to share these ones. And then I got to the point where I was absolutely exhausted having that dialogue. And then I just said to myself, like, get over yourself. Just get them out there. This is brilliant. These are great. Fantastic. And besides, this isn't about you. This is about them seeing themselves in your photographs. So just get over yourself, man. And it worked. I mean, I found the energy from that to actually do it, to share it. So how can you connect with your inner brave, as it were, the leader within that one who knows you have something truly valuable to share right now. So that voice that pushes you past the inner critic and urges you to hit publish. Because my friend's life is short, and I genuinely mean that. And there are people out there who are truly going to benefit from what you have to offer, whether it's a point of view, an opinion, or whether it's sharing an evocative photograph where they see themselves in it. Trust that, lean into it, and take the next step. So whether you're a coach, a creator, a photographer, the more you show up authentically through your words, through your work, through your actions, the more people will trust you and the more people can find you. Surely that's got to be a good thing, right? So final thought, and I promise I'll shut up then. If you want to build a purpose-driven brand, the very first step is being seen. Embrace the vulnerability. Put yourself out there and let people see the real you. They're going to love it, I promise you. And those who don't aren't right for you anyway. And please do me the honor of dropping me a comment and a like and sharing this with someone who may also benefit from this video. I would love to hear how you're going to shine a light on your purpose-driven brand. How are you going to show up and get more visible on your YouTube channel or with your heart or on your social media? Because it really matters. Like you have a voice and you have work that you should be sharing in the world because it's going to inspire others to do the same. Okay, I'll see you in the next 10 minutes on purpose. Please share this with a friend if it's landed for you. Go well, have fun.